In this video, we're going to discuss the seven mistakes that Uber drivers make in their first 30 days, and we're going to do it right now. Welcome back to the Simple Driver channel. My name is Calvin. This is the place where Uber drivers come to learn how to run a successful and profitable Uber business. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Let's not waste time. Let's get right to it. Not getting enough sleep. Being deprived of sleep can cause a lot of things to go wrong causes depression, clumsiness, lack of motivation, forgetfulness, massive fatigue, weakened immune system, reduced sex drive. <laughs> I mean, that don't have nothing to do with Uber, but I'm just saying. Your sensory input can be out of whack, which means that you don't have the response time that you need if you're going to get in an accident to actually avoid it. I mentioned falling asleep at the wheel and wrecking, right? Taking advice from too many people. There's a ton of people out here creating Uber content, and to be honest with you, majority of it is entertaining or complaining. Let me say that again. Majority of it is entertaining or complaining. Stop spending so much time in forums and on Facebook pages and other social media platforms where you can't really learn how to do this business. If a person hasn't been on the platform for more than two years, if they don't have a social media following over 30,000 people, and if they haven't made over $100,000 on the platform, you probably shouldn't listen to them. If you're new to the Simple Driver channel and this is your first time seeing me, I've been on the Uber platform for a little over three and a half years. I have well over 80,000 subscribers and I've done well over a quarter million dollars. Not having a schedule. Having a daily routine makes you more efficient. It reduces the need to plan. Create structure in your life. It will save you money. Builds momentum. It instills good habits. Breaks bad habits. It will reduce procrastination which can kill your business. And of course it will help you achieve your dreams and your goals faster. Taking too many days off. New drivers are making the mistake of taking too many days off at the beginning and that messes up your momentum. You have to have momentum going into this business. Yes, it's your business and you can decide when you want to work and when you do not want to work. But trust me, you can't take too many days off, especially if you have a goal. Make the sacrifice upfront so that you can learn how this business model works. It's probably different from anything that you've ever done before. Not investing time in their city. You have to know where the best hotels are, the best restaurants, the best ballparks, the best sporting events, the best entertainment venues. You have to know your city. You're going to learn a lot of that as you build your business, but it would be in your best interest to take the initiative to go out and start learning your city, even if you're not online with Uber. Making the mistake of thinking you know it all. I've had a tremendous amount of success on the Uber platform, and it took me at least four months to truly understand how this business model works. You need to invest in yourself. You need to read more. You need to talk to other Uber drivers. You need to go to the Greenlight Hub. You need to watch more videos like this one. You need to complete at least one 100 trips before you know if this is working for you or if it is not working for you. Anything less than 100 trips, you don't have all the data. Acting like an employee instead of a boss. In the first video that I made on this very channel, I had a statement that everybody loved and it goes like this. If you treat Uber like a job, it will pay you like an employee. If you treat it like a business, it'll pay you like a boss. I've said this many times on my channel. You are not an employee. You are a business owner. You are responsible for everything that happens with your business. Everything is on you. New drivers make the mistake of putting the blame on someone else when they cannot do that. You are the boss. If something goes wrong in your business, you are responsible for it. And you have to come to realize that. If you can't realize that and you don't understand that, then I'm telling you it's going to be a mistake that is going to haunt you. These are the mistakes that most Uber drivers make in the first 30 days of trying to run a successful business. If you got some out of this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I definitely want you to comment because I want to read those comments and I want to have a dialogue with you. My name is Calvin. I'm the Simple Driver. Peace.